This? This is the struggle, man. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Late Night Part... Um... I don't know exactly what part it is. It is part 18! There we go, because I actually just had to go to YouTube and check. Oops. Anyway, welcome back, guys. Um, last part we left off, two of your favorite ships actually got together. So Odin and Ruben are kind of a thing right now. I'm gonna have them actually become official in this part. And then Cassie and Ethan are also kind of a thing. So um, I'm super excited about that. Thank you for all of you who went ahead and spammed in the comments. Restock the bar, just as I told you. You guys were on point today, so claps for you. Um, what else happened? Um, I think that was really it. We had them go out, blah, blah, blah. Cassie did get a promotion. You've left too many papers on this lot. Well, guess what, little paper kid? I don't like you. You're giving me sass, and I don't like it. Why don't you just clean up the papers? You're already down here. You want to complain to me about how many papers I have when the trash can is right here. Clearly, I'm not going to read none of the ones that you were dropping off in the first place, so maybe you should just stop. And two, maybe, just maybe, you can throw them out for me. If they're still there, you can just drop. But no, you gotta interrupt me mid-sentence when I'm talking about Cassie. Okay, what's your name? What's your name? Zachary Mills. Zachary Mills. Hmm. Oops. Anyway. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Um, Cassie got a promotion. So she's finally level four of the film career. And now we actually need to start working on her celebrity, I guess, skill. Technically, it's a skill. It's kind of not really. Um, so how close is she to getting another star? She's... Um, a little less than halfway there. I want her to start getting to know more celebrities, befriending more of them. Hopefully some of her co-workers are celebrities, actually. Let me check this out. This is her co-worker. He's not. Um, Alan Stanley used to be a co-worker, but- Oh, this chick is! So at work today, we're gonna try to hang out with Emmy Star a little bit and befriend her. But first thing we do when we wake up today is, of course, get ready. And then after that, I'll probably just send her a few text messages, try to get to know her a little bit. So do this, eat your breakfast. Auden, Auden's energy is straight up poop right now because um, I had her go to sleep and then she decided not to listen to me after that little elevator stint that you guys saw at the beginning. And she decided not to listen to me for some reason and stayed up. So I'm actually just gonna use cheats and pretend that didn't happen. Shh, you saw nothing. Um. But yeah, again, just the usual Sims morning routine. Ethan, you are up. Um, we're just going to have you get breakfast before you actually start getting ready. And the carpool for Cassie will be coming in an hour. So yeah, she better actually get to it because we want her to be prepared for work today. We don't want her to go work all smelly and then Emmy Star won't want to be her friend because she smells like poop. Poop is the nice word for it. Um, let's see, Auden Scott, what are you doing? Can you wake up? Can you wake up, Auden, please? As for Ruben... Um, do you work today? I'm assuming you do. Yeah, he works in five hours. So what I'm actually gonna do, I don't think he really needs a shower or anything right now. It's not like he's gonna go out tonight. I don't plan on dragging my sims out tonight because I do that every other time and I mean, whatever. Apparently me talking to myself in my room isn't strange enough. So my I mean, I've been, how do I put this? I've been recording for like two years, making videos or over two years. Yet my family still just walks into the room. If I am talking to myself, I am either A, talking to people on Skype, you shouldn't come into my room, or B, recording a video, definitely don't come into the room unless you want me to be sassy. All I have to say. And now my dog is in my room, so if someone comes home and she starts barking, I apologize now. There's a reason I left my dog outside of my room, but no, open the damn door and let the dog in, because that makes so much sense. Anyway, what were we doing? <laughs> we were going to have Ruben go shop for groceries um, right before work. And then Cassie just needs to eat. All right, so I think that's it for everyone, really. Auden doesn't have a real job. I always forget about that. These whole little quote-unquote professions that came with ambitions, they're kind of useless, because you don't earn money unless you actually do work. So what's the point of having the title? Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. But I think she did get enough research from the events of last night to write her new book. So, as usual, first thing in the morning, blah blah blah, morning routine, writing, and we'll have her continue writing the book. So, la la la. Is Cassie, it's time for her to go to work? Yeah. Hurry up and eat. Come on. 
You can do it. As for Ethan, what time does Ethan go to work? Oh, he doesn't work for an entire day, so he honestly just has the day for himself. I guess that doesn't stop him from working on his music skill, though, because off he goes to the living room where there's apparently the most space. I mean, I'm sorry, but like, is this really not enough space to play an instrument? Not in sim space. Nope. Nope. That's not how it works. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, hold on. You guys saw that too. That is like the scariest thing I have ever seen. <laughs> I have never seen a sim's eyebrows do that before. Like his whole face is messed up. That is so weird. That is r just gonna ignore that for now because strange. Um, we'll let him do what he wants to do. It's not like it really matters to me at this point. Um, how much skill does he already have? He's level four. His lifetime wish is to get all of the um, skills around instruments to level 10. Don't know how that's gonna work. I mean, it's not like I'm aging my sims. I always turn aging off when I'm playing the game. Um, but I don't think I really want to fulfill that. That'll take a really, really long time. Um, so let's see, what can we fill this place up with? I love how it continues Cassie's sleeping, <laughs> or not her, her sleeping, her singing as I'm talking and while we're shopping. That's interesting. We're going to let that be though. Let's see, grapes. We'll buy about, let's buy a lot of them. Screw it. We have money. Um, so did I really put 52? That's not what I meant. I meant 25. <laughs> Oops. Put that back. It's really not that much of a difference in money though. So whatever. Um, let's buy some apples. I guess we can do that. Screw it. We'll make it uh, 20. We'll make these everything else 10. So we'll buy 10 of those. L let's make a drink with goldfish. That's totally appealing. Do, 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 do. Let's get some limes. Yes, we'll get 10 of those. And those are expensive. Whoa. I think that's all we really need. Everything else seems very, very unnecessary. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, that's probably all I'm gonna get. But then I just saw something. Herbs, hmm? <laughs> uh, okay, if you guys weren't here for my university LP, you guys will know that herbs to me in this game were literally like the most useless thing in the world. And plant sims to me were considered drug dealers because... I mean, come on, you go and ask them, hey, can you give me some seeds to plant? And they'll give you random stuff. Just random, random plants. That's not suspicious at all, right? No. So, <laughs> we, we joked earlier in the LP about Ruben being a drug dealer, so I thought it'd be quite appropriate to just pick some of these up. We'll hide them or smuggle them in his bar or something for now. So let's just drag and drop everything that we bought in here. Um, I wonder what it is exactly that they do, though. I I don't see the effect in stocking the bar if we're not actually going to use them. Hopefully, it actually goes into making the drink, like some of the stuff actually gets used. But it's fine if it doesn't, I guess. We did that for fun, just for the purpose of putting it in there, which is actually no purpose at all. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. So he's going to go to the grocery store. He works in three hours, so we'll just let him chill in the rain and talk to that person. Ruben learned that Ruben... This is like Rubenception. Stop. Stop. But he's like the anti Ruben. Hold on. Because Ruben has a good sense of humor. This Ruben has no sense of humor. He learned that Ruben dislikes children. Does he like children? No, I don't think he does. But that's weird. He's like the anti. The anti. Literally, like. He's blonde. He has dark hair. He doesn't have a sense of humor. He does. That is so weird. Oh. Oh, okay. Do not start fighting with random people. You're about to get into work. Come on. Come on. Get on. How do I make him walk away? There we go. Walk away. Look away from the situation. <gasps> They're wearing the same color shoes. Walk away. Just walk away. This never happened. 
scary though. You know who's almost as scary as him? Actually, she's probably more scary. That chick. Oh gosh. Alright, so it is now time for him to go to work. So we'll have him go there. Auden is writing her book. Really, it's nothing exciting at this point. <laughs> because there's nothing to do when everyone's at work. But Cassie, let's do the hang with cast members so she can get that thing going. Hopefully it brings up the relationship. That's all I'm hoping for at this po point. Um, how many- s <gasps> he has three celebrity stars! Alan Stanley from the beginning of this LP, if you guys don't remember. I think I'm gonna have to befriend him again, because they used to be friends. I think we're gonna have to work on that. And Emmy Star, so let's hope this little day at work brings up the relationship. He wants to go to Egypt. <laughs> yeah, okay, Ethan. Okay. She wants to meet a celebrity, learn two of Demon's traits, which I won't do because that's a waste of my time. They're not going on a date today, so whatever. I talk really fast. Or so I think. Because whenever I watch my actual videos, I feel like I talk like a sloth. Like, it's like, and now we're gonna do this. And now we're gonna walk over here. It bothers me. So when I actually record, I talk fast. But then when I watch my recordings, I'm not talking as fast as I think I am. Does that make sense? Probably not. These behind the scene things are probably completely irrelevant to you guys. My dog's gonna start barking, so hold on a sec. And that is why I did not want my dog in my room. Because I knew my dad was gonna come home soon, she was gonna start complaining to get out of my room. That's always how it is, yet my family does not understand the dynamic of my household yet. Anyway, back to the let's play. We're just gonna fast forward towards the end of the day as soon as one of these two gets back from work. Cassie is definitely gonna be the first one, so it's fine. We'll just watch this little meter and hopefully it starts going up. I'm only hoping. Um, let's see. You can work the late hours if you want, but you'll never get anywhere in the film industry unless you get yourself known around town. Your boss suggests that you get more public exposure by going out on town and gaining a celebrity level. So how do I do it? I don't get it. <laughs> what? I guess I'm just supposed to go out and gain a celebrity level? Well, good thing, because that's what we were already trying to do. That's weird. That's really weird. But Auden did get more money for submitting chapters of the book, which is great. The more money, the better. Um, let's see. You, after he gains this one skill... Hold on, let me get rid of one of these things. We'll put this down. And after he gains this one skill, we'll have him do something else. So, come on. You are so close. So close. And... There we go. He got that one skill. So... You can stop doing this. Go take care of yourself. I forgot that I didn't really get him ready um, along the lines of cleaning himself up, so we'll let him do that. Ruben gets home from work soon, and so does- Oh, Cassie gets out really, really soon, so we're gonna invite Emmy Star out as soon as possible. Um, if it is possible. We'll see. So get out of work. Let's see. Get into an exclusive lounge. Maybe we can invite her into one. Hmm... Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's see. So we're gonna try. No, see, we can't text her or anything. Well, we can stalk her. Does she work later hours? No, I'm gonna wait till she gets out of work. We are literally gonna wait out here because I know there's no other way. There she is! <gasps> if you don't go talk to her right now, I swear, Cassie. I swear. Friendly. Oh, she's gonna go home. We're gonna stalk her all the way to her house. I'm telling you. We're gonna stalk you, Emmy. We're gonna stalk you. <laughs> or can we hang out with Alan Stanley instead? Maybe- No, they're already friends. Screw it. That's stupid. This is the best way we can go. Look at her all fancy in her limo, though. Well, dang. And she's driving it. I love how she's actually driving it. She's like, I don't need no driver. No, I can drive the limo myself. Um, hey, it's Brandon- it's Brandon Carter. I'm at the call box. Would you like to buzz me in? Just for like LP reasons, I want to let him in, but at the same time... I mean, it's not like Cassie's home or anything or she's going home, but... I'll do it. It's fine. Whatever. We'll try it. And now we're gonna go and stalk you. Come on. Get home already. Your limo is so slow. I'm gonna teleport Cassie, to be honest, because this is like the longest drive ever. So, 
Oh, and he left work with 170. Awesome. I don't know where we just got $600 from. Did anyone see that? And I already X'd out all the stuff in the corner. Alright, whatever. It'll just have to do. Come on. Come on. There we go. Stop. I swear. Stop everything you're doing right now, Cassie. And get over here. Hey, Emmy. Hey. Oh, her house is ugly. Dude. This house is ugly. Let's try to ring the doorbell and see if she'll let us in. Hey. Hey, Emmy. We see you there. Don't act like you're not there because we see you. You should let let us into your house, Emmy. We can see you. Cassie learned that Alan is rich. Oh, she lives with Alan Stanley. That's so weird. Well, are they letting us in? That's really weird. Oh, okay. So I guess we can just go inside. Now let's go talk to Emmy. So let's greet her as a celebrity because I know she's definitely going to ignore us if we just straight up try to talk to her anyway. So let's go down here. And let's try to strike a conversation. Yeah, she's like, girl, I don't know you. Excuse me. And she dislikes children, too. God, what's with people in this town not liking children? So we're going to talk about the occupation of film, because that's what she's into. And assuming, since she is in the whole film career, she probably likes charisma skill. So we'll just do those two. And hope all goes well. Did we impress her? Did we impress her? Did we impress her? Yes. Let's look at our celebrity thing real quick. And we're actually in the middle now. Finally. Yes. Befriend Emmy Star. What can I get rid of here? Um. Yeah, screw this. We'll put this in. And we'll start to befriend her. So we'll ask her about her career. Even though we already know her career. We work with you, remember? Ask about alma mater. Um. Compliment her home. All the fun stuff that, you know what, no one actually cares about, but I don't care because I just want to get that social, the social. Alright, so we'll just call. Um, she has a physical education degree. That's interesting since it doesn't really have anything to do with film. Alright then. Alright then, Emmy. As long as we become friends. Okay. Let's do, um, something else. So, let's compliment... Did you really just answer your phone? Um, Jeffrey Cook wants to know if Cassie wants to go on a date. No, actually, we don't. So what is this? We want to pillow fight with Emmy. <laughs> That's normal. Alan Stanley! Hey! Look at you go. We will make them, like, best friends. We need that celebrity level. <gasps> Wait, did we actually get another star? We got our second star. How did I not notice that? So thank God. Now we actually have the second star. Our work performance is like beyond good at this point. I think we're good as to getting a promotion. But I do want to make it a little better. Because if we can make them closer friends, I am pretty sure that... I don't know. I, I think it'll just be like 100 times better, right? Whatever. We're going to try to form a group with her. I don't think she wants to. I don't think she wanted to. Oh, no. I'm too tired to hang out right now. Okay, well then, let's just tell her a joke and then we'll leave. Oh, no. Honestly, because it's fine. The part's getting a little too long anyway, so I'm just gonna end up cutting it off. Um, as for Ethan, Ethan, what are you doing? <laughs> Have you been just sitting on this couch and talking to Ruben and watching TV this whole time? Typical males. I see how it is. You know what you guys should do? You guys should start working on the band stuff. So start a jam session. Blues. Go. Kick it up. You may as well start now. So go eat. What is this? She wants to... What? I click on the stress one and it says she wants to go down the elevator for fun. That doesn't really make much sense. Whatever. So she's gonna um, eat, join the jam session. Cassie, you better go ahead and get in this. You! Excuse me. Did I tell you to play the drums? Boy. Boy, boy, boy. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> Funny. No, you're not playing that. You need to go get your instrument. Where is your instrument? Oh, I forgot he was here. <laughs> Awkward. Whatever. We're just like not going to really say anything about it. It's fine. So you're just going to join the jam session with your guitar? Yeah. He oh, crap. Crap. Why did I do that? 
Why did I do that? I don't know why I did. We'll just have to have him play it again. Come on. Join Sam's session. You can join a second, and then Cassie's gonna join. So good, good, good. We'll get everyone going. It's been so long since I've had them had jam session. I can't really hear anything though. So let's go to options. His eyebrow is doing the thing again. Do you guys see it? Right there. I see it, Ethan. You have a deformity. Yeah, the piano really does make the blues. Because I was about to say, I'm like... The only blue thing about this is the how sad it's making me because it sounds terrible. Um, is she almost here yet? All right, we're gonna we're gonna teleport her. Hold on, Cassie, magical teleportation powers, go now! Come on, come on. There we go. And now it does sound decent. Look at that. All right, so she's probably gonna reach level five soon. Um, Ruben will probably reach whatever level it is he's going for. What is it? Also level five. Auden already has level five, and Ethan's probably, yeah, he already has level five. So these two are ahead of the game, I guess, because they're both already musical and they have that musical skill, the virtuoso. That is probably why. with the face of a very very tired Brandon Carter I will end this part I'll see you guys all next time continue to leave your suggestions as to what you'd like to see down below as well as other random stuff that I usually ask you guys to leave down there or whatever and bye <laughs>